the next hand it's from also from a 50 euro tournament it's full ring this time also on pokerstars.fr uh, one six star here he's a really good regular he's one of the best on this side in my opinion and he also knows that i'm a regular he opens from the high check with 32 big blinds uh, on a fisher's blind which is kind of important in my my opinion because People always open much lighter when there's a fish in the big blind. Uh, I end up flatting the button with ace jack here. I think I could just three bet call here. I think it's perfectly fine. I think that I had been playing pretty tight in this table as well for pretty much the same reasons. I had too much stuff going on. Um, if I if I had a more Chuck Batch's image in this table, I definitely would go for the three bet call because this is like the dream three bet position for me if he he's going to be opening so light it should be pretty profitable for me to three bet like almost any two cards here so um and he knows that so i think he's going to be four bet shipping pretty pretty light in general but i i had been somewhat tight so i ended up just flatting which i think is also really fine because the fish will join join us very often on the flop so uh uh one six star is going to have a lot of hands that i dominate he's definitely opening all like jack 10 queen jack king jack and like almost all aces which is which is pretty good he's probably not going to be putting me on a hand this strong either so and the fish will tag along as well so i'm going to have both the best hand and position in this hand which i think makes flying pretty cool with my image um, this is a pretty interesting flop it's really wet the big blind checks and one six story checks and i check back as well um I think usually when he checks a flop like this, he's pretty much giving up. He could have like queen jack, but I think he'd still value bet that against the fish at least and to get rid of me. There's a lot of bad turn cards for him, like if he has second pair or whatever. So I don't know, I guess he could have like pocket tens, something like that, or pocket nines, eight sevens, but I don't know, ace queen. But in general, I think he's like looking to get a cheap turn, maybe with a hand that has some kind of a gut shot or a random pocket pair, but in general he's just giving up if I bet here. So uh, I end up checking this back. I'm not really sure what I think about this now that I look at it. Uh, kind of, I think that I possibly should bet here to get value from the fish because I think he's just gonna call once with a random check or I don't know with like 7-6 even. And uh, more importantly, to get rid of one trick story, because if the fish flats here, it's going to be incredibly easy for me to play in position with the best hand. And but if I check back, there are just so many bad turn cards for me as well. And three ways is not going to be that much fun. Um, and one more problem with the check back, I think, is that it defines my range for one trick story pretty well, because. If I check back such a wet flop, there's no way I can have a set. I can't have a two pair. And he probably expects me to bet a king here as well. And based on preflop, the only kings I can even have here are like king 10 suited, king jack, king queen. And I'd obviously bet king jack here. So anyway, yeah, I really think he, he thinks I bet all kings for value here. So with that in mind, it's, uh, on the turn, the ha mid hands I can actually have are pretty much ace, jack, and pocket eights. And on top of that, I can have a lot of draws and pure bluffs, of course, because they check check twice. I think it's pretty standard for me to try to buy the pot here if once they've checked twice. So I could definitely just have a pure bluff or some kind of weak draw, like 10-9 or something like that, or I don't know, like ace-queen even. And one six story knows that I can't really have a king here. I think the absolute best hands that I can have here on the turn are pretty much ace jack and pocket eight. And he knows that because he, he's good like that. And that's what kind of makes my line kind of suck because my range is just so defined. But at the same time, like he can't really represent anything either because he's checked twice on this texture. Uh, if he now that the fish folds, if he check raises here, I'm just not ever gonna fold this hand. His line would make absolutely no sense. But since he is a good regular, he's not gonna be a check raising, he's gonna be a check calling instead. I'm pretty puzzled here. I have like no idea what he has. He has to have some kind of showdown value. 
I think it could have like I don't know like <laughs> I, I actually really don't know I think he can have like pocket 10s or maybe like ace queen stuff like that <laughs> 